Oh, jeez. What? Wow. Camels. Camels can dissolve your bones. Some context for this. So I was sent this story. I, I saw it going around Reddit, and I was sent this story by one of my uh, facility staff members, Heather, on our Discord. And she said, uh, hey, do you know that camel bites can dissolve your bones? And I said, what? And then I looked at the paper, and then I said, oh. So this paper, uh, Camel Bites, report of severe osteolysis uh, as late bone complications. Uh, this is a paper from 1989, so it is, it's an older paper. But what it does is it looks at the case studies, uh, four or five case studies of men in, uh, later in life who have been bitten by camels. And what they find is that in these cases, there is, as the paper title says, severe osteolysis, which is just a fancy science word for saying that uh, the bone, the matrix of the bone is being reabsorbed by the body. So it's not like the camel has some sort of bone dissolving bite, although bone, Kevin, put bone dissolving, uh, bone dissolving bite, camel bites on the list. Thank you. So it doesn't have like bone dissolving venom, even though that'd be pretty sick. No, rather it causes the bone to uh, wither away and reabsorb itself. And uh, this is due a lot of the times when a camel bites you or another animal bites you. I didn't know this, but um, bone deterioration and reabsorption after an animal bite is very common. I learned something today and hopefully you did too. But what these bites actually do is cause uh, osteomyelitis, I, I believe it's called, and this is a bone infection. And so these bone infections can kill the bone and destroy material, or you know, a bite could literally you know, fracture a bone and can cause a lot of damage, and then the body will reabsorb the bone. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because, uh, so, so camels in particular, in this case study, really caused this bone reabsorption thing. So you could say their bite kind of caused dissolving bones. But what you may not know is that camels are really mean. And I don't say mean, it's not like the animal has mean intent. Um, although the paper does say that sometimes when, <laughs> if you mistreat a camel for long enough, it'll wait until you're not paying attention and then it will bite you. So sometimes I guess they do. But the animals aren't evil or anything. They just, um, it's a very common to have a camel bite you when you're a camel handler. You're trying to handle a very ornery animal that doesn't want to always do what you want it to do. And so it bites you. Like I said, what I, do, what I did not know is that these, these bites are really, really bad. So uh, let me read you a sentence from this paper. Uh, a couple of words that I've never uh, seen strung together before. Uh, the upper limbs were involved in 94% of cases. The injuries sustained varied from deep wounds, such as avulsion of the scalp, that's the entire top of your head ripped off, traumatic tracheotomy, that's literally having your throat ripped out, gas gangrene to fractures, so gang severe infection to your bones, and uh, amputations and decapitations. Yeah, <laughs> so camels, when you, when you piss them off, they might rip your throat out and then your bones might dissolve. And if that doesn't sound like one of the most scary slash badass things you've ever heard, oh man. Okay, let's get back to the chat. <laughs> Talking about bone dissolving uh, camels for a good five minutes there. That's fun.